Canoes in their natural state, fiberglass or wood, are fascinating objects. Yes, they are, Tom, but I find they are more fascinating when they are made out of heavy substances you wouldn't think canoes could be made out of. Like what? Like concrete, no. for instance. I know when I came to Queens, I, I heard about this thing, concrete canoes, and to this day I haven't seen one, and I frankly don't know if they really exist. I think we haven't seen one because they just sink, because concrete is... Quite heavy. Well, one of our reporters, Danielle, was like, I'm going to find one of these concrete canoes. And she did. And she's going to show us how it works. And uh, we're going to see one up close and personal. It's like Mythbusters. But better. Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm from QTV. And I'm here in the engineering building for the very first time trying to find the concrete canoe team. I'm not really sure which way to go, but I have a feeling it might be this way. Here it is, we found it. All right, let's go check it out. I'm here with the captain of the concrete canoe team, Ed Watson. Can you tell me a little bit about what your job entails? Sure, uh, well, like you said, I'm the captain. Um, so basically what I do is a lot of organization with the team. So I run the team meetings, uh, keep the schedule on track and run that. Um, I also do a lot of work with the faculty, uh, staff, outside organizations, just working on behalf of the team. Uh, but for the most part, I've got a really competent team. Uh, they're really good, and, uh, and I, I can trust them to, to do their work, so that makes my job a lot easier. Great. And um, how long has this been going on for? Uh, the team started about 10 years ago at Queen's, uh, but concrete canoes have been made uh, even longer ago than that. Um, yeah, basically someone got the crazy idea to start making boats out of concrete, which, you know, you wouldn't, wouldn't think of right away. Um, but... Um, People have been having fun with that ever since. So today is the pour. I wonder what happens now. Are you pouring in the actual concrete into the molds, right? You bet. Uh, it's not like uh, this concrete that, that you see around here. Uh, it's not your typical concrete, so it doesn't really flow like it usually does. Uh, it's sort of more granular, and we actually sort of pack it on the inside of the mold um, in the shape that we want it. So that's sort of how it works. And what's the mold made out of? The mold's made of fiberglass. Uh, if you can see it back there, it's just fiberglass um, with a, a, a box of foam supporting it. Okay, great. So what are they doing right now? <laughs> what's going uh, on? Right now, it's not just concrete that's in the canoe. It's actually uh, a steel mesh reinforcement. Um, so that's what, they're, that's what they're getting ready right there. Um, basically, what happens is the steel sits inside uh, the mold and the holes are big enough that you can actually push the concrete through to make a layer on the bottom and on the top so that you can actually see the mesh. Okay, sweet. And um, who's actually doing this? Are they all one year and a certain, you know, certain year of engineers or a certain team? Uh, no, it is all engineers. Um, it's open to all engineers, but it is mostly civil engineers just because it's concrete and that's sort of what it attracts them. Um, but uh, I'm in third year, a lot of the exec is like third and fourth year, some second years. Um, but we get a lot of interest from first years as well. Uh, most of the rookies are first and second year, so it really is all years represented here. Okay, and um, where does the competition actually take place? Uh, it moves around, there's about 12 schools that compete in the competition every year. Um, last year it was out in Halifax, that was a nice 22 hour train ride. <laughs> um, but this year it's going to be held uh, in Montreal at L'Ecole Polytechnique. Okay, awesome. And when, when is that? Uh, it's in May, so you got to stick around for a little while, but definitely worth it. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with Jordan and Doug, and we're going to find out a little bit about why I'm standing in between two separate canoes rather than one. Well, last year we had an incident involving the roads of Quebec. Very bad roads, and our canoe had some issues with its formwork, and... Lo and behold, we got to Halifax where the competition was, and our canoe was actually like 200 tiny canoes, <laughs> and we couldn't really paddle them. So this year we're being extra safe, and we're making one, and then, uh, you know, seeing what went good, what went bad, and trying to correct it, and now we're making our second one. And if worst comes to worst, we have one already, so we can rest easier. These canoes seem pretty big. I mean, who, who's going to be sitting inside them? How many people can sit inside them? Uh, Depends on the race. There's uh, two man races, two women races, then there's a uh, three man, three women, and then there's a four, which is two guys and two girls. So at the most, 
we have four people sitting in these things paddling, and it gets kind of intense. <laughs> How do you choose who sits inside them? Uh, that's based on who's the best on the team, basically. Uh, has a little to do with your <laughs> paddle experience and how much of the paddle practice you go to, just how much effort you put in there. Um, but in, in, in all honesty, it's mostly based on um, your paddle practice hours at the end of the term and also uh, who wins certain races that we set up between members of the team just to try and have the best results at the competition. Okay, girls, do you think you could tell me a little bit about what this is, what's going on right now? Well, right now we're mixing the ingredients for the concrete. Um, what we have is um, really lightweight pour overs for the aggregate and also we're mixing some fly ash, silica fume, which makes it really strong. Okay, cool. And what are you going to do with this afterwards? Put it in this machine? <laughs> this machine with some water and some other stuff and then make it into the concrete mix. And like, we don't use sand like you normally see on like a sidewalk or whatever. It's like this sort of light. It's lightweight peats, almost. And wh what does that do? Why is this better than sand? Uh, because it makes it less dense so then it can float on water. Yeah. It's been a solid day with the Concrete Canoe Team. Queens wishes you all the best of luck in this year's upcoming competition. That's all for now. Team One Piece!